What's the worst pain you've ever experienced? One day when I was in 7th grade I woke up and noticed a pea-sized puss pocket had formed on my So I told my parents and they took me to the doctor. The doctor squeezed it until it popped. If you've ever tried to pop a zit that wasn't ready to pop. Imagine that but worse in every possible way. Corneal ulcers. I could feel the insides of my eyes grinding when they adjusted to light. Always take out your contacts at night to clean them, and check when you should replace them. I passed out from pain due to heartburn ice cream headache and water going down the wrong pipe and it paled in comparison to the ulcers. A very large bowel movement with an a fissure. The pain could best be described as having a thumb covered with hundreds of needles jammed into my b hole. Once when I was about 12, I'd just returned from hockey practice with my dad. My mom was parked in the driveway and was unloading groceries from the family van. My dad asked me to help, got my brother from inside the house to do the same, and off we went. Now, I'm one of four, and in a house of six people there are a lot of groceries. We were maybe three trips worth of groceries into this thing. When we started getting bored, my brother spotted this massive watermelon in the back of the van, and we began tossing it back and forth, alternating dancing and catching the watermelon. This went on maybe four or five times as we slowly got closer to the front door. I yelled for my brother to throw the melon once more, and he did. He threw it really, really high this time, I assume, thinking it was funny. The melon went up, the melon came down, and as I caught it I felt this horrific pain in my hand. I began to tremble. The watermelon skin had shot under my middle fingernail. Imagine a hand with a green fingernail. I was writhing in pain. My brother told me to calm down because some was still sticking out, and he was going to try to remove it. It broke off. It was stuck. I had to go to the hospital and have my fingernail removed to get it out. I hadn't showered after hockey, so my mom told me I had to before she'd take me to the hospital. It was the most horrific hour of my life. I had open heart surgery when I was in high school. Unfortunately I ended up with pericardial effusion effectively a buildup of fluid around the heart whilst recovering about a month afterwards. I wasn't aware of this until I started to suffer cardiac tamponade so much blood that the heart starts to struggle under the literal pressure which had me vomiting and kind of phasing in and out of consciousness. So, obviously straight to Ed. They numb me and space me out but they didn't sleep me. A surgeon then inserted a pigtail device through my chest. This is basically a plastic tube with a curly end. It goes in with a rod in it. Then when it's place, the rod is removed and the end curls, keeping it in place. This was inserted into the pericardal sac to drain fluid. None of this was too painful, even the little semi-conscious surgery. About a week later, I'd had surrendered enough black heart goo that it was ready to come out. I have never experienced anything quite like that thing coming out. The incision it had gone through was tight and a fair bit of blood and so on had dried around it. The nurse started to pull. It honestly felt as if someone had put a screw eye to chest, right in deep grabbed the head with some pliers and started going at it. I have never made sounds like I did that day. Not before. Not after. There was what felt like hours of her pulling and tugging until another nurse walked in. Pushed her out of the way. Gave it a huge violent twist resulting in an audible crack. Then whipped it out in one smooth motion. I think that's the worst and the most relieved I've ever felt in my life all within a couple of minutes. <laughs> Had a hornet sting me in the eye once. I thought it was just a regular bug at first so I swatted it and the stinger went into my iris. There was no swelling to my eyelid which made the pain even worse because it didn't prevent me from moving my eyes. Every time I blinked I would get sharp pain to the back of my eye and into my brain. The worst part was the doctor going right into my eye with a pair of tweezers to pull the stinger out and having my eye get stuck to it as it came out. On the upside I was the only high schooler in my district to wear an eye patch for a legitimate reason and I looked really cool. Not sure exactly what happened, but I had this tooth pain on an airplane that had me prepared to commit s You have an abscess. The pressure shift is what drove you mad. Go get x-rayed at your dentist. Been there. If I had owned a gun at that point, I don't think I'd be here anymore. Something primal and f***ed up about a tooth abscess. All sanity goes out the window and you'd run into a f***ing brick wall to make it stop. Reddit finds a new thing to make me afraid of with every thread.
I'm sorry. My English is very bad but I had to share my story. A fall caused my kneecap to shift into my upper leg. The doctor has put the kneecap in place with screws. One screw was placed too tightly, causing the kneecap to scrape the cartilage. Three years later, the doctor finally agreed to remove the screw. Screw was stuck and with all his strength he tried to remove the screw. End position. Screw is still in and besides cartilage damage I now also have nerve damage in my knee. I am 23 years old and have been walking for 5 years with pain and 2 years on crutches. I have a new doctor now. He is going to try to make it better for me. When I played flag football in 8th grade, a gigantic kid tackled me and then stomped on my wrist with his cleats. That shattered my 12-year-old wrist which I didn't know was possible, but there I was. The pain was quick to develop and then overbearing. My arm burned as though it were on fire and my hand was throbbing. My father didn't believe that it was broken, so he tapped it with his fingers. I nearly passed out from the pain and the feeling of things shifting in my wrist. After doing that and seeing my contorted and sobbing little face, he rushed me off to the hospital. The pain I felt was immeasurable and my day was ruined. Bulging disc pressing up against my sciatic nerve burst eardrum. Pain leading up to it was excruciating but when it finally burst it was instant relief. Done this one as well. I had no history of ear infections. But one night as a teenager I woke up from a nap in screaming pain. Rode it out for about four hours. And then there was a disturbing popping sound and fluid was pouring out of my ear. Most abrupt relief I've ever felt. I passed out for a long time after that. Never had an ear problem after that day either. Weird kidney stones. I thought my appendix had ruptured and I was on the floor of the hospital screaming as an adult male. I remember they gave me morphine which knocked me out but I could still feel the pain in my sleep. I gave up soda after them. I'm so afraid of kidney stones. Everyone says they're the worst. Hope your urethra is recovered. I had a kidney stone and thought it was the worst thing imaginable till I had gall stones. Gall stones were the absolute worst for me too. I woke up one morning and thought I was having a heart attack. The attack lasted a good three to four hours. Got it removed about a week later. Then about a year ago I had four herniated discs in my lower back. I could barely walk. I needed help showering, and was in an insane amount of pain. Had to spend a month in that agony before surgery with nothing but Vicodin which barely kept me from s I wouldn't wish that pain on my worst enemy gallbladder attack. Woke me up from a dead sleep and I was in the air within 20 minutes. While waiting to get admitted, I basically curled up into a ball and lay on the floor just wanting to die. Someone finally noticed how bad off I was and let me cut in front of the dozens ahead waiting. It took two back-to-back -back rounds of pain meds to get it under control. A few hours later, I was in surgery to have my gallbladder removed. I've had my knee fracture and dislocate behind my leg. I've had kidney stones and I've been through spinal surgery. Nothing compared to that gallbladder attack. Complete hell on earth. Yep. I've broken all kinds of bones. Had surgeries. Rehabs. Etc. No pain has compared to a gall stone attack. When I was 11 years old I was at Boy Scout camp and one of the kids was screwing around with naphtha camp fuel near a fire. His cup of fuel caught fire. He threw the cup behind him. Onto my legs. So I'd say third degree burns on my inner thighs would be way 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 up there. Good thing I had underwear on. They had to graft skin form the outside of my thighs to the inside. That wasn't painless post-surgery either. That must have hurt a lot. Funny enough third degree burns are said to be less painful than second degree burns. As third degree burns can start burning into the nerve cells. Whereas second degree burns leave them exposed and stimulated as hell. Appendicitis. Three days of it leaking, I felt like I was going to die. Which in reality I would have had I not gone to the hospital. I couldn't stand. Sit. Even laying down was excruciating. I drew myself scalding hot baths which helped for a few minutes if relief. But I was constantly throwing up from the pain. Ran a high grade fever. Finally a few friends if mine forced me into the car and drove me to the hospital. 
After having brain surgery removing a benign tumor from my brain I couldn't sleep for about five days after. The fifth day I was experiencing a level of exhaustion that will probably be the worst pain I've felt in my life. I was pumped up on pain suppressant meds so I couldn't exactly feel your classic sense of pain. Other than a strong pulsing sensation in the back of my head where my tumor was removed. Rather it took form in feeling just utterly dead inside. Imagine being so tired that you don't even have the energy to think about being tired. It's like you're stuck in a vacuum and there is no way out but to sit quietly and wish for it to be over. Having four ribs surgically broken, and then having to lean directly against a solid slab for a chest x-ray the next day. It was honestly excruciating. If you don't mind me asking why were your ribs surgically broken? Not at all. I have pretty severe kyphoscoliosis curvature of the spine as well as a hunchback so I had a costoplasty. My ribs are pretty misshapen, and kinda gave me a pointy rib hump. So they tried to round it off a little to give it a smoother appearance. They basically remove a couple of centimeters from each rib. So that as it regrows, it grows where it's meant to be instead of being misshapen. I was rushing to cut through a loaf of bread. It was one of those bakery loaves with the thick smooth crust. And when I applied too much force too quickly the serrated knife slid right off the top and onto the side my outstretched finger. The blade cut halfway through the bone and stopped. I then attempted to remove it, but I accidentally twisted the blade as I did so and it slightly pried the two sides of my finger bone apart. The pain was so bad that I immediately threw up onto what would have been a very nice loaf of bread. I'm actually getting quite nauseated recounting this.